Yes, we are going to continue with the Poor Man's Prusa i3 Mark III S. Before we are going to do that, I have to make three little changes. One of them is the smooth rod holders for the Y axis frame. I have modified the part a little bit so I can put M3 nuts in there so that I can replace them for the ones that I did use previously. Also, I ordered a set of smooth rods that are for the Mark III S and also a normal aluminum bed frame for this build as well. Let's continue with the build and let's make some small corrections and then we are going to continue with the poor man's Prusa. i3 Mark III S. In this box is the bed frame for the y-axis for the heated bed. And there it is. This is aluminum. So this is way more stiffer and way more rigid than what I had before. No warping bed issues. So let's continue with this, shall we? And I also have some smooth rods that comes with this. Let's uh, do this in time lapse. These are the modified Y smooth rod holders. Normally there are some square nuts in there, but since I don't have them, I have put some M3 nuts in there instead. So what you did see me do during the time lapse was I took a pliers, I just put it in and the rest I pressed in there and I use this one for making everything align and then later on using a longer M3 screw to check if the hole is good enough because you don't want to have it that everything doesn't fit or that you get some thread problems. You don't want to be threatened, right? Let's uh, continue and install these onto the rest of the frame, shall we? Final check, looks good, smooth, nice. So according to the instruction for the Y axis you need a belt obviously but also a locking nut. This is the little nut with blue or maybe sometimes a different kind of color that once you have screwed in a, a bolt you cannot unscrew it that easily when the printer is printing that this nut is not getting loose or that the bolt is not getting unscrewed by the vibrations that one i don't have but i'm also thinking about it in a future stadium to make some small adjustments so in that regard i'm going to use two nuts where possible so uh, let's continue
if you could see it, I had to rethread the bed frame in order to get all my M3 nuts in there. For this part, I did it from the top side because for screws, it doesn't matter which direction or which side you are going to take when it comes to, you know, clearing the thread. So now we are going to do the other side and uh, we are going to install that as well. So now the Y-axis smooth rods are installed, the new bed frame out of aluminum is installed, the gear or the pulley from the stepper motor is there and the belt is running over it. After that step 36 set to tighten the belts and as you could see in the time lapse I did manage to use my left hand to feel the tension on the belt and with the other hand I just tighten the belt tensioner for the y-axis and then after that I use the screw to tighten the little bracket from the y-axis belt holder to its place and if you get value out of this video that I'm doing here the poor man's Prusa i3 Mark 3s hey give it a like and if you're not subscribed hey subscribe to the channel. Now we are going to continue with the X axis. That is the axis where the extruder is mounted to. That is the next step that I need to do in order to continue with the old build. But I have a little issue. I need to have some smooth rod bearings. The eight millimeter rod bearings. I've got 10, but I need to have eight in order to get the thing going. Sorry, what? We have a special guest here. We have here Joseph Prusa. I know, he looks a little bit grey, but that is going to change in the future. Shall we continue tomorrow with the whole poor man's Prusa i3 Mark III S build? Shall we do that? Then I'm going to grab the stuff and make sure that we can continue because I barely didn't do anything rather than, you know, changing some little parts and you know finishing the y axis don't ask me why but we are going to continue tomorrow should we do that joseph cool let's do that see you later oh hey hi yeah we have a little issue i have searched through the house for finding the linear bearings that i need for the smooth rods to continue with the x-axis. Now for the x-axis alone I need four but also later on I need to pre-install another three linear bearings for the eight millimeter rod. That means I need seven in total which I don't have. Then further I also need to have a pulley, a smooth pulley for the timing belt and there are some small little things that I also need in order to continue with this build. I was already thinking like, okay, maybe I can do this. No, I can also not do that. I was looking for other ways to keep this going, but every single time I run into small little things that I miss, which results in not being able to continue in this build. And I really want to follow up on the instructions so you can also follow along with this whole build. Long story short, I need to continue next time in the poor man's Prusa i3 Mark 3s build. Yeah, sometimes it is what it is, right Joseph? If you want to keep watching, check this video out. It is a very cool video. Hey, enjoy watching.